Hello, I'm Chris Williams from Read Comics. They're bad for you, the name of my YouTube channel. Or if you're watching this on Library or BitChute, the names of my channels on those two websites is Comic Freak. Ryan Johnson finally admits that he does not care about Star Wars or its canon, and he only cares about telling his own stories and not about the stories that would fit into the Star Wars universe itself. And that is the reason why everyone pretty much hates The Last Jedi. So let's read this article and see what's up. Ryan Johnson finally admits what normal people instantly knew two years ago. He doesn't give a crap about Star Wars. He only cares about himself. Star Wars The Last Jedi director Ryan Johnson admits he didn't care about Star Wars canon and its history. Johnson was asked by the Hollywood reporters, Natalie Herzl, Whenever you are writing, let's say you are creating your own universe. You said you don't think about actors. You are starting something from scratch. How is that approach versus something where you have a pre-existing universe if you are writing characters for Star Wars? You have this universe. You have characters that everybody knows, and then now you are doing something from scratch. Do you find your approach is different for that? And Ryan Johnson's response is that he basically just doesn't care and just does whatever he wants, and we'll see that in a moment, but... It pretty much just exemplifies here his arrogance and his stupidity by not basically adhering to the canon of Star Wars, especially in the, well, Disney trilogy, when he basically threw all everything that J.J. Abrams started and gave us a big load of crap. No, not at all, because I don't really think in terms of universes or in terms of creating worlds or whatever. That's not that interesting to me. He continued, the only thing that is interesting to me is the story and the story specific to like whether you are writing a Star Wars film that's part of a three movie trilogy or a quote unquote original thing like Knives Out. You are still telling a story that is new to the thing that you are doing. That has to work within the context of that movie. Johnson adds, so to me, the notion of what's the entire galaxy or world that you are creating or something, I can't imagine getting excited about creating that. To me, what I'm excited about is creating a two hour long experience for an audience to have in the theater. And that means how they engage moment to moment with the story and the characters that are on the screen and then that doesn't change in either one of those. As you can see, he didn't care at all about the universe itself. He only wanted to make a two-hour story, his two-hour story, that fit within his two-hour movie. That didn't have anything to do with anything else and that's why the Disney trilogy just went from one thing to a completely different thing. Then it basically just crapped out into another thing completely trying to hash out the ending of this, well, so-called trilogy when it wasn't. Jelani and Johnson just basically barfed out crap and everyone else who came after has to basically pick up the pieces. Only an inept storyteller would simply not care about the world in which he's telling a story. But that's Ryan Johnson. I'm fairly convinced here that Ryan's primary motivation was to push politics that he knew would integrate him to the Hollywood elite and thus propel his career forward. Star Wars was simply never a consideration for him. So it's absolutely no surprise that a producer whose primary interest is her own political agenda would hire a director whose political agenda mirrored her own. Maybe that's why Trevorrow and others were fired by Kennedy because they liked the political hackery of Ryan Johnson. Probably. Maybe that's why fans have no idea what canon is anymore, because the people making it have no idea either. If you like this video, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed, because YouTube is going around unsubscribing people. So make sure you're still subscribed. If you're watching my videos, but you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Read comics that are bad for you, then go over to Library and BitChute, and subscribe to my channels on those two websites. They're both named Comic Freak. Hit that bell for notifications. Hit that like button, and leave some comments down below. And if you could, could you also please share this video? Share it on Twitter, share it on Reddit, and share it on Facebook. Share it anywhere you think it'll do the most good, because YouTube is not going around promoting their own YouTube creators anymore. So please share this video. Now listen closely. It's that time of the day again. Keep checking back in all my future videos for more information on my own upcoming independent comic book scum dogs. I'm Chris Williams and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video or review.